Hello all, welcome to part 11 of API testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain the difference between synchronous APIs and asynchronous APIs. What is the difference? I'm going to explain. So what is the difference between synchronous and asynchronous APIs? It's very simple, guys. Coming to the synchronous APIs, okay, the APIs will be uh, run one after the another one, okay? After the API one is run or executed or requested, then based on the response of API one, API two will be requested. And based on the response of API two, API three will be requested. So one after the another API will be triggered here, okay? For example, okay? So you'll understand this synchronous APIs with the help of this example more. For example, okay, Without creating a user, can I edit or delete the user? No, right? First, I have to create a user. It's not about creating only user, guys. Creating any record also, creating a file, okay? Then, if you want to edit that file or create an address, if you want to edit that address, first, this API related to create a user should be requested. Run, right? A API related to create user should be triggered and response should come and the user should be created. Then only, the next API, that is edit user API, will be requested if editing is required for that particular user. Okay, then delete user, okay? So once this edit and uh, create and edit are there, then we can finally delete the user, okay? Here, the APIs are being uh, run one after the another. Such kind of APIs are known as synchronous APIs. So here, most of the APIs that we use in real world applications, are synchronous APIs only, okay? They are not asynchronous, most of the, okay? Most of the APIs that we use in real time as part of uh, applications functionalities, right, are synchronous. That is around 95%, out of 100%, 95% of the APIs are generally synchronous APIs, okay? They'll be executed one after another one. Whereas asynchronous means opposite of synchronous where all the APIs will be triggered simultaneously at the same time, okay? While one API is being requested, simultaneously another API is getting requested, okay? Example is, when you're uploading multiple videos at a time, okay? While one video is getting uploaded, simultaneously another video is also getting uploaded in that application functionality, okay? That is one of the example, guys, where two APIs are simultaneously getting requested to the server. Such kind of APIs are called as, okay? Asynchronous APIs. So not more than this, guys. This is very simple topic. Synchronous versus asynchronous API. Synchronous APIs, one after the another APIs will be requested, whereas in asynchronous, all the APIs can be requested at the same time. Like example is uploading multiple videos at a time. So uh, the other video will not wait for the first video to get complete uploading, okay? While the video is in the process of uploading, second video is also getting uploaded, guys, okay? That's how it is different. So hope, guys, you understood the difference between uh, the requirement for synchronous APIs and asynchronous APIs in day-to-day uh, -day applications. So that's all for this session. The next session, I'm going to answer another, I'm going to explain another API testing concept for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.